All right, so we just went over user management. Why did you set up users so you could share layouts with them? That's why. Exciting, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so layouts. Um, layouts allow users to create a custom view for interacting with and managing the system. If you think about the system, like I said, during the original part of the training, think of it as like a situational awareness platform. A layout is a view on like a specific scenario for the most part, right? You can put up to 64 cameras in it, but there's this thing called human channel capacity, your ability to pay attention to things, right? And it's 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 somewhere around seven. You're allowed to you're you're able to pay attention to like seven things at a time. What do you think about it? It makes sense. You got, you know, how many senses? Five, six, depending on how you think about it. Right? Five or six senses, right? You got hearing, you got touch, you got taste, you got smell, right? And sight. So humans are able to do like five things at once, five to seven things at once, plus like like walking and chewing gum, right? So there's like seven things that you can do at once. So if you have more than seven things on a layout, you're probably going to miss some stuff. Um, that being said, some people love to have 64 cameras on a layout on a big TV wall so their boss thinks that they're watching everything, right? In reality, hard to do. But with all the events and rules that we have, which we'll go over later, you can automate stuff as well to make it more apparent, to make events more apparent to operators and help them understand the world outside this little room they're sitting in better. So layouts is very important for that, right? So again, layouts, um, there's uh, instructions on the support portal for how to set up layouts, which you can go over and read. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. So to create a layout right now in our system, we don't have any layouts, right? You see that? There's nothing in the tree that says layouts right now, right? If you go to individual users, well, there's some shared layouts, still here, but nothing has been created. Um, so what we want to do to create a layout is first grab some cameras. So you guys grab whatever the hell you want. Uh, throw it in there. Um, create a view, right? And when you're ready, you know what? I'm going to create fisheye view. So one thing we didn't go over, but you guys can check out in the camera itself, right? You've got image enhancement. You've got zoom windows, right, that you can zoom out in individual parts of a camera, right, and look at individual parts of that camera. So if you've got a high-res camera, you can create multiple views. Um, let's see, is there another fish? Oh, yeah, I have this guy here too. Right, so I'll put that one in that mode. Now, so I've dragged these cameras in. You notice there's space between them, right? Right-click, first of all, you want to save the current layout as, and then name your layout. So just give your name out, layout a name with your name on it so I know it's you, right? So I'm going to call mine Tony Layout. You notice right now in the tree, layouts have appeared, right? And now Tony layouts there. You guys are all admins, so you see every layout that's added to the system, no matter who adds it, right? So Tony layouts there. How about you guys? Throw anything else in there? Yeah. Tony layouts. Next, you save yours. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, I Rick Sanchez layout. Very nice, very nice. Cat, you've got one called New Layout. It's not very, not very well named. And Infan has Infans. Okay. All right. So I've got these layouts. Now if I want to share a layout, right, I can just grab that layout and share it to like a particular user. So Cat, uh, I believe I just shared it with you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You can see Tony layout as well, and Nick, you should be able to see it. Cat mm -hmm. and Infan, you should be able to see it, mm -hmm. right? So, as administrators, you can see everything. Mm -hmm. um, for individual users, that's how you would share layout to specific users, right? Uh, the other thing on layouts for control is you can zoom in and zoom out with your mouse. See this? So, if you want the things to be spaced further apart, or you want them to be spaced close together, mm -hmm. that's how you do that, right? Um, you can turn cameras, you can save it. Once you save the layout, right, uh, when you change it, what you'll notice is there'll be a little star on the upper left-hand side of the tab. So if you change the spacing, for example, right, on your layout, you'll see a little star appear. That means it's an unsaved layout. So just hit Save Layout or, or Command or Control-S on Windows to save it at any given point in time. 
right? But now I can grab each one of those layouts, like ink fonts, and throw it in, and everything comes in. Boom. See that? Ink fonts created that layout for me. Rick Sanchez layout. It's got a couple fish eyes in it. Um, cat. Cat's eye view also is cat. I don't know what you did there. It's kind of artistic, I guess. You got a lot of empty space. So. <laughs> So this layout, right, that's how you create a layout. You can mix in web pages, you can mix in I.O., you can mix in anything from the system that's a resource, right? You can resize it. Now, the cool thing about this, too, Kat, if you look at your screen, you've got your layout open, right? Ready? Save it. Watch what happens on my screen. So I've got this set up. You just overwrote my screen. Right. So move it again. No, it's all right. I'm showing people how it works. So change your layout again. Make everything closer together, right? Drag your cameras closer together. That's all right. Now, now save it again. Watch my screen. No, just yeah. So Control S. Everything's updated in real time, right? So this is why our video wall feature works, right? Because we have server hive architecture and everything synchronized, any changes in the layouts happen immediately throughout the system, even if operators are watching that layout, right? So it's a pretty neat feature, pretty cool, right? I'm going to save that layout and change it on you now. All right, so other things that you can do with layouts, uh, right click on it. Um, you can see aspect ratio. So you can force aspect ratio to whatever you prefer. So if you have a lot of 16.9 cameras, you can switch it to 16.9, save current layout, right? Um, you can uh, force it to 1-1 one, one if you're watching a lot of Instagram video. Um, for cell spacing, you can you can change it as well here. So you can go small or medium or large, right? You can start a tour. A tour, all a tour does is it goes through each one of the videos like with a setting. Like five seconds is the default setting, right? You can change this tour setting. So if you go into local settings, right then you can change your tour settings here tour cycle right now is set to four seconds so if i want it to be five seconds i can change it there in the local settings to five and now it'll be five seconds in between each, each little rotation on the tour it's called a layout tour right uh, you can fit and view uh, you can get rid of all your trees right and just have a nice clean view right you can also do things like uh do a layout background. Uh, we went over this before. This is used for like mapping, right? So if I want to create this as a map, now I've got Cat's layout. I've added the map to it, right? So I'm going to resize these things so that you can see them. So you can create a map, and you can actually create layered maps when you combine this with soft triggers, right? So I'll put it over another camera there. And now your layout has a map on it, right? So that's called a layout background. That's how you create a digital map. And you go back to layout settings. Let's get rid of that background. Clear, OK. Now the background's gone again. You have to resize the cameras. Um, another thing you can do with layout. Hang on, Ethan. I'll get to your question in a second. I'll make sure I cover everything. All right. right. Under layout settings, you can also set a minimum grid size, right? So for minimum grid size, what that means is you go in here. Go to your layout settings, you set a minimum grid size. I want my grid to be at least four cells wide. Okay? What happens then is when I pull a camera in, instead of seeing the whole screen, I've got four grid spots that those cameras will fit into. So if I'm designing a grid where I want it to be four by four, I can go ahead and set it up ahead of time. Right? It will still adapt, by the way. So even if I if I'm if I'm working on it and I make it bigger. That's the minimum grid size, not the maximum grid size. The grid will always expand depending on what you're looking at, right? Um, let's see. Other things. Resolution. You can force the resolution on an entire layout to be high or low, mm -hmm. right? Um, generally, you do not want to do this unless there's a real reason you need it to be like low or high. For example, your CPU is dying, right? So you want it to go switch to low. Or you've only got a couple cameras on there and you definitely want to see high res stream, right? Then you can force it over. 
Uh, when you force it to high res, you will kill your CPU if you have a ton of video on there that's all high res. Mm -hmm. So be careful on that. Um, anything else? I think that's about it for layouts. You can create a logical ID for layouts as well in 4.0 because we have layout as an action right now um, in the rules engine. So you can generate an ID for that layout which can be used in API calls to open up and launch layouts with third party software, right? So that's pretty cool. And that's about it for layouts. Any final, what was your question? Uh, so can only Only administrators are able to share the layouts because admins are the only ones that can create users and assign roles. Okay. Right, so you have to be an administrator in order to be able to share a layout. Yeah. Right? Or to create and share a layout. What else? Any other questions about layouts? No. Pretty straightforward, right? But it's a key feature for the whole software because it allows you to create those views of the world. Well, actually, yeah. Is there a way? So let's say you share a layout with me. Is there a way to prevent layouts from being overwritten? Like if you're like, I've got a camera and I've got a bunch of zoomed in windows on certain things, and all of a sudden, like, the other guy turns his chair, whacks his keyboard, and tanks the layout. Excellent question. There is a lock toggle that you can use on, on layouts that I missed. Yes, you can lock a layout to, to prevent it from being changed, right? So if you have operators downstream and an administrator, and you want them to just view this layout, you can lock it. You can make it so it's locked. Yep. All right, so layouts. This is how you use layouts. Next up, we're going to get into the rules engine, uh, setting up and automating system reactions. We're going to review all the events and all the actions you can take in a system.